everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a review for you on something that I am super, super excited about, something that's actually holiday, to me holiday themed, something so perfect for the holidays, and that is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. This is limited edition. It just released earlier this week, and I've got thoughts for you because I have been using this, playing around with it. We're gonna do a look together. I don't usually do that, but I feel like everybody's doing that now and if I don't kind of change up my game I'm gonna fall behind and we're already kind of a small channel so we're gonna do a look together I'm gonna give you swatches my thoughts all of that good stuff so if you are interested then just keep on watching all right let's get started with the normal stuff first off packaging I love the black cardboard packaging it makes me want to keep it usually she does the white packaging and it's kind of eh. I know the product inside is usually spectacular but usually the box is a little bit boring <laughs> so I love that she went with the black I love that with the Safari palette she did a green box anyways I love it the lettering is gold this is really stunning on the back you do have the diagram of the eyeshadow palette shade names all of that good stuff for reference this is made in Italy paraben free not tested on animals which I know a lot of y'all including myself appreciate before we get into the palette itself let me take you into a description on the Sephora website it is $129 I know that's pretty heart-wrenching um, and a lot of people I know y'all have even sometimes commented you would never pay that much and I completely understand that I'm right there with you um, obviously I purchased this one the last Pat McGrath palette I was able to to get with a hundred dollar gift card so it wasn't as heart-wrenching but um, I did pay uh, for this one now I did have a coupon for friends and family which Ashton I'm so grateful thank you so much girl I really really do appreciate you um, so I was able to get 20% off now if you are looking at this I thought it was I had read it was limited edition and it's not saying that on the Sephora app so at this point I don't really know if I think maybe it's not but uh, then just I would say wait until the November sale and get it at 20% off that that 20% really makes a huge difference so just as an FYI, the product details are, it's, um, ooh, it says it's a palette featuring 15 brand new eyeshadow shades in the classic signature Natasha Denona formulas, including matte, metallic, sparkling, and duochrome shades. We will play with all of those here in a little bit. The palette debuts shades of gold in an array of different textures. It also includes browns and greens to complement any of the gold hues. So you can create a broad range of eye looks from natural and golden to dramatic and glam. So I just mentioned it is a $129. And then as reference, you do get 15 pans of product at 0.08 ounces or 2.5 grams total. The packaging is stunning. It isn't her like typical leather. It is her leather bound packaging type. I'm getting so tongue twisted. It's a metallic like patent shiny gold. It is stunning. It's beautiful. And it is what I love to see as far as unique and all of that. So open this up and again in typical fashion for Natasha Denona you have your mirror here. If you hear the dog it's because he wants in but he will knock over the camera if I let him in <laughs> you've got the little plastic sleeve thingy that you can tear off it's perforated but it has the shade names I always leave mine on it helps keep it cleaner because all the product stays in here and doesn't come out to here to the mirror so inside you've got 15 eyeshadow shades here's what they look like all different types of shades of golds and then you've got like it said you've got some greens to kind of complement and then you've got some mattes as far as browns so let me go ahead and jump you into swatches and then we'll go into thoughts after that first up you have got lime chrome python sparks and aria and they swatch beautifully Next up, we've got Cava, Aurora, Dijon, and Oro. For the next set, you have, let's see, I don't remember what I swatched first. You've got Log, Varis, Brass, and Sandstone. What, Pongo Bear? Just a minute, bud. This shade right here is stunning. It looks like liquid metal and is one of my very favorites from this entire palette. For the last three, you've got Alchemist, Teak, and Aurum. He's so upset. I'm not sure if you can hear all that. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, as far as letting you know what is on my eyes today, I'm not gonna do that. Why, you ask? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. <laughs> We're gonna do that together. I don't usually do like a get ready with me slash tutorial on my reviews. However, it seems like a lot of people are doing that now. I'm not trying to fall behind. So let's go ahead and do this together. That way you can see step-by-step step what I did to create this eye look. Okay, so if you hear the dog crying or barking, have the baby gate up, because if not, he will come knock down this camera. Okay, let's go ahead and start. Eyes are primed. Primed them, <laughs> primed them with concealer a little while ago, and now we're gonna go into this baby right here. <laughs> okay, he's very dramatic. Um, anyways, all right, let's get started with this bad boy. So, Aria is the first shade I'm going to take. Uh, it's this transition shade right here. Just gonna coat my brush. Now, I like to keep my eye look simple. If you know me, you know I don't do like, like five shades is the most I will do. <laughs> And I like to keep it pretty quick and easy many times because I am like, don't have a lot of time to really spend on doing my makeup. So I have to like make it glam without a whole lot of steps. Taking a smaller blending brush, I am going to grab this deep brown right here. It is called Log. Trying to think what I want to do um, because I want to put that metallic green on the outer crease. So I'm probably just going to take this a little bit lower just to deepen up that crease a little bit um, without going too, too low. And I'm going to leave that outer portion of the lid. So this part right here, I'm going to leave that open because I'm going to try and use as many after I got through telling you I'm basic and I only use like three, four or five shades. I'm trying to use several of the metallic shades on my lid so that you can see what it looks like. So I'm gonna use more than usual today, really just for this demo. First use, I'm gonna go back with a little bit of Aria right here. I'm just going to um, put some of that right over the deeper shade I just put on just because I don't want it to have hidden this shade. I like for my transition shade to really peek through any deeper shade that I put, just so that it looks a little bit more gradient. So it looks like I'm an expert at makeup, even though I'm really not. <laughs> so anyways, but I do like how the gradient look looks and uh, not sure if this is the right way to do it, but it's how I do it. <laughs> and it seems to work for me without being super complex. So now that we're done with that, I'm gonna go in with this green right here. It's called Aurora and I have been, <laughs> This is gonna sound so corny. I've legit been into green ever since I um, went to go see Wicked a few days ago. I had already seen it in New York a few years ago with one of my very best friends and I was able to go, they were in town, they're touring right now and they're in town and my husband and I got to go and he is not a musical kind of guy and he actually very much loved it. So I'm gonna go in with a small paddle shader brush type thing. Now. I, one of the methods I really like to use with this palette is wet just because they're already beautiful as they are, but when you wet these particular shades, it takes them to a level that, you know, is out of this world kind of thing. So I'm just going to grab that green. I grabbed quite a bit and then I'm just going to spray it with some Fix Plus because I, again, I'm looking to get like as much out of this look as I can and I just... It's awesome, I just sprayed the palette. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a really off day today. Okay. So I'm just gonna pack this. I'm not really sweeping, I'm just packing. And it is the perfect green shade. It is so stunning. I'm just gonna grab a little more. I'm not gonna re-wet my brush. I just grabbed a little more so I could go over. I mean, this builds up very, very quickly. And the sparkle factor is very, very... It's intense, but in a very beautiful way. It's not chunky glitter, it's not anything like that. It is legit, like built-in sparkle, built-in diamonds into this um, formula. 
I am now going to go into this shade right here, this sparkly gold bronze type shade. It's called Kava. I'm actually going to go in with the same brush I just used, except I'm going to go in with the other side. <laughs> and that's what we're going to put on the middle portion of the lid. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to wet it. Again, these apply beautifully dry for purposes of this video. I'm using them wet. I have a girls date today with one of my good friends and so figure I'm going extra today. <laughs> okay, so just go ahead and overlap this with the green, placing this in the middle, but leaving that piece open right here because I'm going to do that green gold. So grabbing a little bit more and placing this on and you do want to overlap with the green because you don't want it to be like super harsh lines to where you can see the separation of each shade because then it just looks you know I've done that before and I'm like why does it look so harsh um, but just pack on as much as you want until you get that desired effect these legit look like liquid metal so I mean I love packing them on and then I do rub when it comes to like the little what I call the seam <laughs> but where those two meet I rub it because that really helps just kind of blend them in together and not look so harsh. For the shade that I'm going to use on the very inner portion of the lid I'm going to use this shade called Lime Chrome. This one is so stunning. It's a gold but it's got this green type of lime green I guess type of shift it's it's very duochrome it's really really pretty I'm actually not going to use this one wet because I don't want it to be super super intense on the middle on the very inner portion which I know sounds weird but for me that's what I want to do today um so grabbing whatever you want or however much you want I with eyeshadow I don't mind going strong I mean I can always blend it out but you know for some people you like to go in with a little bit and then build it up from there so let's do this eye. And this one is so pigmented that, I mean, you do not need to use your brush wet in order to like really see the green. It is just really, really stunning. So I'm hoping it comes across on camera. Next up, I'm gonna grab like a little detail brush. This is, if you've seen my favorite brushes video, you know this is the Wet n Wild little detailer brush. It might have even been their concealer brush, but I love it for like the very inner corner. I'm going to take the shade Sparks and it's probably the chunkiest shade in the palette. And it looks white, but it is such a pretty gold. It's like a white gold. Um, and it is very, very pretty. It is chunky though. So it's kind of like if you remember her star palette, um, how there's a few shades that are, I'm going to wet this by the way, um, how there's a few shades that are a little bit like chunkier. Some people were all for those, some were not. I love them. Um, but this is kind of like that, but it is a very, very strong gold, but the sparkle is just very pretty. I don't know. It's really nice. Mine came with like little black spots in that pan of product. So I don't know what that is, but who knows? <laughs> okay. I'm going in with this brush right here. This is usually the brush I use to like cut the crease or something. It's the Pro Drawing Shadow Brush. It's number 41 from the Sephora collection. I got it on Weekly Wow a long time ago. And again, this one's also in my favorite brushes. Um, so I'm going to go back with that shade right there, um, the green shade that we did on the outer portion of the lid. And I'm just going to kind of, I'm not doing a halo eye, but I'm kind of trying to bring it in just a little bit right here on the top to kind of be kind of little, the best way I can describe it is like the roof of the middle portion, <laughs> the middle shadow. It's going to be the little roof. I don't know all the technical terms. I just know what I like to see. And that's, that's what I want to see. So much better. Now it looks a little more complete and not just like three separate shades. I'm taking just like a little pencil brush. I'm going to go in with this dark, uh, yeah, I'm going with this dark green right here. It's like a matte, super deep forest green. It's called Python, which I'm not a fan of snakes, so yeah, that doesn't freak me out. <laughs> I don't, I'm just not a fan of anything related to snakes. My husband isn't either, but it is a pretty shade though. <laughs> So 
So that's that. Um, I hope you can see that there is absolutely no fallout unless there's like some that I legit missed. No, there's no fallout. <laughs> and you see how much I played with those. So no fallout whatsoever. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to do something a little bit what might be a little weird. Um, let me do my, um, let me show you what I'm going to do for my lower lash line. And then I'll do my eyeliner off camera really because it's like nothing special. But I recently purchased the Marc Jacobs Highliner in the shade Gemstone. It's one of those glitter ones and it's the teal shade. And I am really wanting to get like the red shade. Um, I swatched it at my local Sephora that just opened today. And I am blown away that it has not rubbed off. And you guys know I've told you before the 24 7 by Urban Decay don't, I can't even get them to last five minutes. So. I'm gonna test this out. I'm gonna try this out on the lower lash line. I will come back with my liner and my lashes all done and yeah, show you the final look. Okay, I am back with liner, lashes. That Marc Jacobs, uh, why can't I think of the name? Eyeliner is so incredible, you guys. I mean, it went on with such pigment in like a few seconds and I, Hope it's gonna last on my waterline, but it's been a few minutes and it's still there. So I have high hopes for this. I'm so excited about that one. Again, it's in the shade Gemstone in case you're interested. It's the teal color, but this is the final look. It's what we've got going on. I've got, if my lip looks a little funky, it's cause I was trying to decide what I wanted to use for lips, but we're gonna go with red, which may be a little much. However, for holidays, it's gonna be so perfect, so, yeah. This palette, guys, is like so holiday appropriate. This is it. I hope you enjoyed. All right, guys. So now that we are done with the eye look, it's time to tell you what I think of this eyeshadow palette. So first off, the packaging is stunning. I love it. I love that it's something different. I, I just... I am so happy with this. This screams Christmas to me, and whether it's meant to be a holiday palette or not, I just love, love, love this packaging. Again, I don't know if it's limited or edition or not. It was saying that at the start, and now it doesn't, so she may have decided to make it permanent. As far as the shades, let's start with the mattes. Let's start overall. The shades swatch so creamy, so beautifully, so opaque. Just there's something about them each and every one of them that swatches so much like satin or silk or something. Now with the Safari palette, I love that palette, I really do. But you can tell the swatching is a little bit different. It swatches a little patchier on that one. It doesn't feel as silky as these. These have a very different creamy, silky, soft consistency. And I think that is, <laughs> can you hear them? I think that's what makes these so opaque as far as in their swatches. As far as the mattes, when it comes to your uh, transition shades, your deepening up shades, your all of that stuff, it really is, with the exception of this deep forest green, it's like just different variations of like a camel shade. You have one dark brown, which we use today here. So that's the only downside to that, which, but that's the theme of this palette, different shades of gold. In this case, the mattes are gonna be like kind of brown. Um, and then, like I said, kind of that camel shade. And it literally is such a gradient. Um, it's like not a whole lot of difference between some of them. Some of them are so, so similar. It's just like a tweak in the shade. So that may be a downside to some of you because you may say, well, I want different types of shades in my crease. I don't see that as a, as a downside. I am actually happy when I can supplement other palettes because it means I get more use out of my other palettes too. But you may have to supplement if you're not looking to have just brown or camel color in your crease, in your outer corner. Like I said, you do have the dark brown and you have this amazing forest green. This thing deepens up an outer corner so, so good. Um, but that is, you're very limited on that. So keep that in mind. As far as your metallic shades, again, this is the gold palette. So you're going to have different variations of the shade gold, but that's really kind of nice. You can do a gradient effect. You can just kind of take one and do it as your stunner shade while you grab other eyeshadow palettes or another eyeshadow palette and do the rest of your look with that. So you do have the one standout green shimmer shade, which is so stunning. It's like the perfect, reminds me of like emerald. 
Um, and then you've got like a super bright, intense, rich gold. You've got like a bronzy gold. You've got, this one is more of a satin. This one's not as sparkly as the others, but just again, keep in mind, you are getting different variations of the shade gold. So it may be that you use this for just one shade when you're creating your look. All in all, this thing is stunning. It has such a beautiful formulation and the shimmers are like, I'm not even joking when I say it's like diamonds on your eyes. When I look in the light, I'm like, oh, it looks so pretty. I'm not trying to be vain. I'm just saying it just looks so stunning. It looks like just little, just light reflecting particles or something. I don't even know how to describe it. It's also not the glitter that just falls off. It's built into the formula. I do not have to use glitter glue when it comes to these shadows. I prefer to use my finger um, with these, but a wet brush for me does the trick. Heck, even a dry brush does the trick as well, but I like super, super intensity. So I will go in either, as you saw, with a wet brush or with my finger. For this inner corner, I did go with a dry brush and it still worked so beautifully. These had no fallout. That's not a deal breaker for me, but for some people it is. No fallout. However, there is kick up in the pan with the mats when you're grabbing product on your brush. Again, not a deal breaker for me. All in all, guys, this is absolutely stunning. And I'm going to tell you, I think it's worth every penny of the $129 price tag. And I know a lot of people would say otherwise saying nothing is worth that much money. And you know what? I understand that completely. Uh, makeup is my thing. I, I would rather spend $129 on a palette than maybe $129 on a purse, let's just say, even though I love purses too. But <laughs> I'll go to Marshalls and get a purse for 40 bucks so I can get this. This just, I mean, it's just what your priorities are, you know? This is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. It's holiday perfection. And I know I've been saying that word a lot here lately, so in case I get you know, comments in the, in the comment section. This thing is so amazing. If I had to choose, which some of you may ask me if I had to choose between this and the Safari palette, I would choose this one. Now I am not a all matte type of girl and that palette is all mattes. I love, love, love the different variety in the metallic and sparkly shades in here. I will however tell you if you already have Safari and you're going to grab this, they are going to pair so perfect together because all the shades in that palette are going to complement these golds so, so well. It's just going to be so, it's the perfect pair. Now, um, what else? What else? I think that's it. This is a dazzled beyond dazzled for me. I love this, you guys. And if you are looking for super standout palette for the holiday season, I would recommend this to you. And I would also recommend the Pat McGrath Mothership 5, the Bronze Seduction. There are no words for that palette either. Anyways, some of you had wondered if I picked it up. I did. I didn't do a review because there have been so many reviews on that, but I love it. That one is a dazzled and I am not usually dazzled by Pat McGrath, which I know is mind blowing, but that one is by far one of my favorite palettes of all time. And this one is right there with it. It is stunning. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I hope that if you are a regular on my channel that you enjoyed the kind of little middle get ready with me type of thing. Um, it's kind of new and uh, something like I said, I haven't really done on my channel. So I hope you found that uh, to be enjoyable. And so before I let you go, I need to give you the verse of the day. Today's comes from Matthew 5, 8, and it says, Jesus said, blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing if you are new to my channel. I really would love to have you as part of this YouTube family. You can find me on one social media platform if you're looking for me, and that's on Instagram at Michelle's Glamour. Guys, stay tuned. I have a few more reviews for you coming up in the very near future, so you will be seeing those. And again, unless you're subscribed and hit that notification bell, you won't get the notification. So I hope you will. All right, guys, see you soon. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Bye.